yeah, and that's been the topic of conversation in there. And uh, yeah, with doing the media as well. Listen, if we make give goals away like that, we're not going to win games in this league. We know that. Um, but we started um, poorly from our point of view, and it, and it put us on the back foot. And we never really recovered because then when we give the goal away just before we can make change at half time and then the nature of the third goal, yeah, we're not going to win. But we can't hide behind mistakes. Do you know what I mean? We know we need to play better than that. We have to get it out of our heads before the next game um, because that's below the standards which, which we've set ourselves and which we've played to for the majority of this season. So, yeah, we, we know we need to be better than that next week at Burnley. You able to put your... The thing on the slow start because it, it did take everyone by surprise. That yeah, and then it seemed to took the energy out of the crowd and the, the, the atmosphere in the stadium went flat. And then it's the game that that uh, Bournemouth want. Um, no, listen, I've had a quick look at the running data up there. They're an athletic team, and once they're in front and they break, um, they've got the pace and power to really hurt you on the counter. And when it was. 3 0, and we're pushing the second half. That's where the majority of their chances come. So, but the start of the game, the big, the big one for me was we weren't as good with the ball as we needed to be and as we usually are. Um, and that sort of defined the pattern of the game. It allowed Bournemouth to have too much control from our point of view um, and never allowed us to uh, inject that energy and tempo into the game. There were moments when we might have had a quick combination, nearly get in, or a good tackle, a good challenge. The game becomes end to end in that first half, and we wanted the game like that. Um, but then it quickly uh, fizzled out into that um, slow, quieter game. If we gave uh, Bournemouth the ball back too cheaply, yeah. So yeah, that that was that was a big thing for me. Listen, that that's the bit I'm focusing on because once it's three, another pattern of the game is different again. We kept going, we keep pushing, um, as the lads always will. However, we'd open ourselves up to counter-attack, but we needed to start better. We needed to be more on the front foot and uh, get control of the game, which we didn't manage to do. It's not the first time this season that you've had a, a start like that. How much of a concern does it become to the manager when you, you do all what you do Monday to Friday? No, it's, no it's, a le it's the level of performance we need to be better. Whether we start slow or fast, we've... You could arguably say, like the last two games, uh, we've not started well in them two, and they're the ones that we've got good results in. Um, then the other games where we have started well, we've not, we've been beat. So, no, I ju we just strive to be better all the time. And the fact that we started slow with one down, which we deserve to be, but then we give them the next two goals, from our point of view, really poor, um, it just takes a game away from us. Not just giving the two goals but the timing of that second goal yeah. you're happy one you're not happy but no we had to be you know I think they just missed a chance to Vernier just put one over the bar um, and we knew what the change was going to be uh, yeah and it changes dynamic but if I'm honest I still felt we were in the game with the change we were going to make and, and if we could and we start the first couple of minutes in the second half on the front foot um, yeah and the third goal probably summed up our day um Bournemouth are a you know, good side, use the ball well. Uh, but from, I think the big concern from the fans is that they just seem that lack of energy and lack of, you know, sort of about you today. They just lack of life about you, you today. Do you agree? Um, yeah, we, we didn't get control. We kept giving them the ball back. We weren't good enough with the, with the ball. We, we wanted to be better. We need to be better. Listen, we can, and, and in all honesty, Bournemouth are a very athletic team and they're one of the most athletic teams in this league. You can see that with how they break, it's how they recruited. Um, so now they try and play a style which suits that. Um, the problem is when we're behind 2 0 at half time and 3 0 quickly in the second half, we're playing into their hands in terms of uh, their strengths. So, yeah, difficult afternoon in that respect, but as I said, we just need to make sure that we get this out of our heads before the next game and be better. The, to, we, for us to get results, we need virtually every player playing at the best. Everyone needs to have big moments. Um, today we didn't. We had too many who, you know, we dropped below our standards. Do you understand the boos from the crowd at half-time and at full-time? Yeah, well, you're going to get that when, you, uh, when you're not playing. But we've, and again, if I focus on performance, if we perform 
to our best, then we get beat. So you've heard me say it many times. Sometimes you have to hold your hands up. Sometimes it's not your day. Sometimes you come up against the better side. However, I feel like today we gave uh, Bournemouth a helping hand. How much a blow then is that result to your sort of survival chances? Because it was looking like that small sort of group at the bottom where you know everybody was in it just before. Yeah, five. whenever we don't pick up points, we. Listen, Burnley becomes the biggest game, a big game now because it's our next one, and that would be the same whether we played after when you feel like you've let yourself down and you want to perform better. Um, I wish it was midweek, but it's not. Um, but I know pe people talk about the Burnley game, the, the Bournemouth game today, the games, whoever it is. But because we're down near the bottom, we've not got that luxury of just thinking it's about these teams. We've got to try and pick up as many points as possible from. From as many teams as possible. So, regardless of it, his next, it's a big game for us because we want to get that out of our system. Was uh, McBurney an option from the start, or was that just not possible? No, he's not. He's trained this week, um, but he's not 100 percent fit. Um, yeah, and and we know he wouldn't wouldn't have lasted. So, yeah, and and the boys who've done well in the last two games in terms of getting the results. Um, deserve the opportunity and deserve to stay in the team, and that that's another like frustrating thing from our point of view when you're um, rewarding that and we started as sluggishly as we did. And just last one for me, what can you obviously the, the disappointment around this result today, given how you know, important it appeared playing the team down uh, down there with you? What can you say to the fans now uh, about this season and, and you know sort of where you can go from? Here? Yeah, nothing. Yeah, listen, I've got the vibe I said to you guys in the press. Everyone had sort of given us these points because we'd had two decent results and then playing another team down the bottom. We've just, I keep saying it over and over, and we have to be at our best to win um, in this league and we've got to strive to be at that every week, regardless of who we play. Um, yeah, there's, there's, no, there's no easy games in this league, there's no poor teams. Um, and if you're not your best, as you've seen today, it's another reminder. And for us to give them the helping hand, um, yeah, we didn't give ourselves a chance. Sundays before Mondays. Um, does, a, does a performance like that make you feel fear for the future? No, so we've had them before. We know we're, no, we're going to have moments in this league. We're not um, not deluded enough to think that when we're not at our best, we can still get results in this league. It's just not going to happen. Not going to happen. And we're also not stupid enough to think we're going to be at our best every week. But we've got to try to be. And the more we are, the more we put ourselves in our, in positions to get over the line um, and pick up the points. And that's gonna that's not gonna be any different regardless of who we play. Well, sorry, it is the is the key to this season gonna be how you respond to disappointments because yeah, you're realistic in, as you say, th yeah. there's always gonna be some. Yeah, hundred percent it is. Yeah, it is. I think the frustrating thing from today is we were architects of our own downfall, you know, and that that's the frustrating bit. Like I said, sometimes we've had cruel moments where we've arguably deserved more and it's been snatched away from us, but Again, you can't feel sorry for yourself in that moment because we're playing as top players and they've got, no one's going to give us points. Um, however, today, yeah, uh, we were involved in that defeat. We were part of the reason, and that's the that's why this one hurts a little bit more. Have you have you sort of had to steal your lads to it sort of even before the season started, rather than sort of respond that, that there will be bad days and and you've just got to pick yourself up and get on? Yeah, we talk about it, and but we also talk about. Um, that's not an excuse then for the next game, and I think we've been pretty good at that. Um, and we have to make sure that that continues. You know, the good thing is there's always another game. As I said, I'd be ready for a game on Wednesday night, but we've got to wait till next weekend. Um, yeah, and just get this get this out of our head, get the performance, make sure we understand um, that we are better than that. Like, yeah, and it's um, you know, I just wish there was a game Wednesday. So how do you set about it between now and Turf Moor? Is it a case of dealing with it quickly and then just almost yeah. drawing a line under it? Yeah, we spoke about it in the dressing room. Yeah, you've got to draw a line under it because there's another game and, and defeats are part and parcel of football. Um, but we've had cruel defeats where you can be half proud and and then we've had really heartbreaking defeats where you feel terrible. Um, but as I said, this one's slightly different today because I feel like We've uh, we've contributed, you know, and I was coming into this after a good week's training, feeling good about it. Do you do you feel let down when you you've done all the prep and it's no, it's <laughs> difficult. I don't forget being a player and all that. Some, sometimes it's not your day, but 
we've got a, a group of people in there who know, and, I, and I've seen them, you've seen them. They all know that, we're, that we could perform better than that. Um, and that's what we have to make sure we do. Hi, Paul. Um, I'm just wondering, obviously, the, the goals conceded, people have talked about that a lot this season. Uh, but like you acknowledged earlier, sometimes a team can be better and score a goal because they're better. But when you see a performance today where, you know, probably all three goals were somewhat avoidable, yeah. how frustrating is that when you kind of, I imagine yeah. you're doing a lot of work in the week? Yeah, it is, it is, but the league below, you can sometimes get away with things like that. I think the second and third are, are errors you don't see all the time, you know? Um, and like I said, we can't produce those errors and expect to get points. So hopefully there are two for the season and they've come in one game and it's cost us and we don't do any more because... We have to almost play the perfect game to win, as we've, as we've shown. Um, and we've also shown that when we haven't been at our best, as we weren't in the first half, and we've gone in at 1-0 down, we've been good enough to come back. Um, but that's when we've not uh, contributed to our own downfall, as we have done today. You've obviously shown you can pick this group of players up from defeats, disappointing results already this season. Does it become more challenging having to do it again, or is it? And kind of what? Yeah, is... this is, it's always yeah, it's always a challenge. Getting beats not not great, I think. But I think the moment it's not really bothering you is probably the time you shouldn't be doing the job. So uh, yeah, you don't want to. You can't really describe the feeling, and and you don't want to be feeling like it. However, it probably is the bit that gets you ready for the next game.